wirst auf eine Reise gehen. In ferne Länder. Was ist da sonst noch? Ich sehe Zufriedenheit und Glück bei dir. Oh ja, so. <lacht> Oh, yes, yes, yes. I didn't want you to miss that at the beginning. Okay. So what was the main reason for you to be on the project? Cold hard cash. Um, no. I was, <laughs> I was a big, it wasn't that at all. I was a big fan of Peter Chelson um, from his, particularly his early uh, films, for Hear My Song and Funny Bone specifically. I've liked most of his films, but that, those two were ones I really, really liked as a youth, I will say, to his annoyance. And then the script was great. And so if, you, if you're an actor and you've, you have a script that you like and a director you like, that's all you need to know, isn't it, really? Der Tag wartet, Zeit zum Aufstehen. Mm -hmm. Es war einmal ein junger Psychiater, der Hector hieß. Er hatte ein sehr befriedigendes Leben. Seine Welt war ordentlich. Unkompliziert. Und so gefiel es ihm. Yes, and also, yes, and also, when I came on board, there was an actor, there was you in it, so I read the script knowing it was you, even though I hadn't worked with you at that point. But I could see you doing it, and that, you know, makes the prospect very appealing, because you sort of think, you know, when, you've, when something is well cast, you, you, the whole thing comes to life in a different way. And then I had the good fortune of working with you twice, in a row. It, in so. a row, we had a double, didn't we? Yeah. Ein Ablauf, für dessen Stetigkeit seine Freundin Clara nur zu gern sorgte. Jeder Ausrutscher wurde rasch korrigiert. What does happy my life. Huh? Sorry, go on. <laughs> What does happiness mean to you? And did you learn something from the movie? I think whenever you're thinking about this movie, you you know, I was walking through the airport yesterday, sort of contemplating it, you know, knowing I'd be asked these sort of questions, and, you know, you just, yeah, you just think, you know, life is pretty extraordinary, really, at sort of moments when, and, and you know, you do, it just, it makes you take off, take out moments to be grateful about things. I think it's done that. And just, because sometimes, you know, life is, uh, our lives are so crazy, you know, we travel all over the place, and sometimes just stopping to think. You know, it sounds so simple, and, but you don't do it. Bist du glücklich? Du willst dich von mir trennen, oder? <lacht> Nein! Du hast Nein. einfach so eine Frage gestellt. Der Gefragte braucht doch eine Vorwarnung, eine Einleitung, eine Präab. Nicht doch, ist ja gut. Tut mir leid. Würdest du sagen, dass du ein glücklicher Mensch bist? Yeah, it's, it's something that's very important, you know. It's, it's, I've come to think that it's probably the most important thing after survival, after just basic, you know, eating and what have you, is to be happy. Find, find a way to be happy in whatever circumstance you're in, you know. Because um, it is the best state of being, really, you know, to be able to be happy. You don't have to be happy all the time, but as long as you have the capacity to be happy. To find the joy in things. I mean, then that yeah. is being, you know, finding the joy of childhood. It's being able to have a childish wonder at things. You know, and I've always, I have sort of, I think I did learn that sort of quite young, that I could, I mean, quite sort of <laughs> young for, after you've stopped being a child. And as a teenager something, that sort of joyful wonder, I think, is a great state to be in. Wer von uns, frage ich mich, erinnert sich noch an seine Kindheit, wo man Glück einfach bloß als einen zum Leben gehörenden Zustand empfunden hat? Erinnert sich an die Momente, wo alles reine Freude war, den Moment, wo einfach alles in unserer Welt, in uns und um uns, nur gut war. Es war einfach alles richtig. But it's also physical, physical happiness we were talking about this morning. You know, we're all so obsessed with the sort of mental side of it, but just the being, the being fit, being healthy, there's all that side too. Running as fast as you can. And then feeling the endorphins and yeah. dancing, playing dancing. ping pong. Yeah. Does that make you happy? Ping pong. Yes. It, it really does. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Und jetzt haben wir den Salat. Wir sind erwachsen und alles ist nur noch falsch. 
Alles und das immer. Es, es ist fast, als wären wir auf Schatzsuche nach diesem Verlorenen. Doch je mehr wir uns darauf konzentrieren, das Glück wieder zu finden, desto mehr zieht es sich zurück. Mir scheint nur in den Momenten, in denen wir gerade ganz anderes tun. Wenn wir uns Mühe geben, uns mit etwas beschäftigen, mit anderen reden, Dinge verstehen, lernen, tanzen, wenn Sie wollen, auch das. Dass wir dann so was wie Glück erleben als ein Nebenprodukt, als Geschenk am Rande. Und das heißt, wir sollten uns nicht so sehr mit der vielbeschworenen Suche nach dem Glück beschäftigen, sondern eher mit dem Glück beim Suchen. So, for both of you, Clara and Hector are not your typical typecast roles. How interesting was it for you to play them? And what were the biggest challenges for you? Um, yeah, it was fun playing. I tend to play the perennial kid. As a, a lot of the roles I've played, it's been a guy who won't grow up, whereas Hector's a guy who grew up when he was 10 and never looked yes. back, you know. So it's kind of the yeah, opposite yeah. Of, of Gary King or Shaun of the Dead or whatever, you know, it's a guy who who was closed off from his childhood. That was fun to play someone buttoned up, you know, and not the Mr. Pull Faces and stuff, which Peter used to tell me not to do. <laughs> Clara, ich muss hier raus. Ich will eine Reise machen. Ich merke, dass ich meine Patienten nicht glücklicher mache. Und ich... Ich möchte was erforschen. Und was? Naja, was Glück ist. So, dass ich helfen kann. Sieh dir mein Leben an, Clara. Ich... <lacht> ich, ich komme wie ein Schwindler vor. So wie einer, der immer nur auf Landkarten verreist und dann von der Welt berichtet. No, Clara, I don't, I, don't, I don't really think about the typecasting question. I tend to sort of not really analyse that, so I'm not, I can't comment on that. But she, um, you know, in a very, you see little vignettes of this woman. I mean, you don't see that much of her, but I think, you, you know, she's a very complete person. And you feel that she's gone on a journey similar to Hector that we just don't witness. Geht's darum, dass ich noch keine Mutter sein will? Andere Hand, bitte. Auf keinen Fall, nein. Ich habe aber erst eine gemacht. Ach so. Das hat nichts, gar nichts damit zu tun, ob du Mutter bist oder nicht. Ich weiß, was los ist, Hector. Niemand will mit jemand zusammen sein, der niemals glücklich sein wird. I have seen John Reno was kicking your ass. How was that? Who was kicking your ass? John Reno. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. I, I love Jean Reno and it was a, a pleasure to meet him as a fan of particularly of Leon the professional. Um, and he was a very, very lovely man. And so it was really fun to, you know, there was one take he did when he lifted me onto the table by my lapels. And then he, <laughs> he said, he forgot his lines. And he just went, who is Simon Pegg? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what machen Sie here so? Landwirtschaft. Landwirtschaft? Ah, welche Art? Und ist es das in Ihrem Leben, was Sie glücklich macht? Was soll der Scheiß? Sind Sie die New York Times? Nein, ich untersuche nur, was Menschen glücklich macht. Wenn Sie mit einer Pflanze hier sind, sind Sie tot. Und wissen Sie was? Was? Kein Schwein juckt das. Okay. Keine Pflanze. Entschuldigung für das da. Oh. Why should I buy a ticket for this movie? Why? Mm -hmm. Are you happy? Do you yeah. want to be? Yes. <laughs> I think it will improve your life. I think it might just help you to... I mean, it's a very entertaining movie, but the thing that most people have said, having watched it, is that it's made them think about their own happiness. And that's something we should all do, is reevaluate how we are with our happiness. You know, it's easy to walk through life thinking that you're happy or... Or, or, or mistaking other things for happiness. But if it's a film that makes you think about that, then that's the best thing it can do, you know? And the fact that it takes you around the world and it explores happiness in different climates and cultures, it's pretty interesting. I mean, it does make you, you know, reflect on our sort of Western cerebral, yeah. <laughs> um, you know, angst-ridden society and what we can learn from. And there's, and there's some jokes in it too. And and, and yes, good, good jokes and, and tears, and yeah, it's, it's people tend to have a good time, I think. But there is no violent death, if that's what you're after. There's not in it. No, or zombies. <laughs> There's no zombies. <laughs> <laughs>
Es war einmal ein Psychiater namens Hector. Da war der Abend im Eimer. Ich bin am Ende meiner Kräfte. Der ein erfülltes Leben führte. Oh. Oh. Scheinbar. Sie wirken etwas bedrückt. So gar nicht ihrer Art entsprechend. Malcolm, du Blödmann, du Ich muss hier raus. Ich möchte was erforschen. Und was? Was Glück ist. Wo soll Ihre Reise denn hingehen? Ich habe an China gedacht. China. Genial. Ich komme von weit her und versuche zu verstehen, was die Menschen glücklich macht. Es ist Montag. Wir haben geschlossen. Würden Sie sich als einen glücklichen Menschen betrachten? Wenn Sie am Ende der Reise sind, skypen Sie mich an. Sie haben Skype? Business oder Vergnügen? Ich will wissen, was Menschen glücklich macht. <lacht> hey, ich bin in Afrika. Hallo, Jungs. Hey. Kommst du nach Hause? Hm, noch nicht. Endlich kann ich zurück zu meinem bedeutungslosen Leben. Oh. Wir sollten uns nicht so sehr mit der vielbeschworenen Suche nach dem Glück beschäftigen, sondern eher mit dem Glück beim Suchen. <lacht>